Hello and welcome to the Self Love and Pleasure Podcast. A podcast to help you unlock your deepest love and pleasure potential for an orgasmic life to be and live pleasure lit. Hi, I'm Patricia, the Australian Adult Industry Award winning pleasure and toy queen. I'm a certified sex educator, an adult content creator, tantra practitioner, pleasure toy reviewer, and so much more than that. Tune in to be inspired and empowered on your self-love and pleasure journey. Meet the Australian Adult Industry Award winner, 2024 Pleasure Toy Queen. I have received the award for Best Journalist Presenter Blogger, the category, for my pleasure toy reviews that I am sharing with you all in one way or another. So even if you have just read through my written pleasure toy reviews, you have watched my reviews on my channel, or you have watched my pleasure toy experience fun via my OnlyFans, Loyal Fans or Fansly on my adult fans pages, Pleasure Toy Queen. I'm sharing this journey with you in one way or another to inspire and empower you on your own pleasure journey. And I would like to take this episode as a, first of all, thank you for everyone who has voted for me because this means so, so much. It is supporting my mission. My mission is to help normalize self-pleasure and to help normalize the use of body safer pleasure toys because I believe we all deserve pleasure and I want to send out a really, really big, big message here. And that is self-pleasure is your right. And not just your right, actually, it's also your responsibility. But first of all, it is your right. No matter your gender, no matter your sexual orientation, no matter your relationship dynamic, if you're solo, single, poly, no matter, you have got the right to self-pleasure. You've got the right to touch your own body. You've got the right to play, to pleasure yourself because it is your body. You are in charge of it, you are in control of it. And with that, it is also your responsibility. Your pleasure experience is your responsibility, not someone else's. Because if you're gonna give that responsibility to someone else, you risk of being disappointed, plus you also are dependent on someone else for your own pleasure experience. So this is one, one very big message that I wanna send out there is that self-pleasure is your right, but also your responsibility. And you deserve to experience pleasure. And the more we can normalize self-pleasure, because self-pleasure is a healthy, and normal acts. I mean, unless it is taking over your daily life that you are self-pleasuring to the extent, to the priority that you're not going to work anymore, you can't study, you can't take on any other responsibilities and it's something to look at, obviously. And also as long as you don't hurt anybody because self-pleasuring in regards to like just um, focusing on yourself and giving yourself pleasure, it is a healthy and normal act. And the more we're gonna talk about it, the more we can normalize it. And I'm all here for it, to educate about self-pleasure who have not touched themselves, have not looked at themselves, haven't explored themselves, who don't even know what they like or don't like, who are not opening themselves up to pleasure. And that could be being in a relationship for a long time, long-term marriage and now getting a divorce and haven't even like explored their own body. They don't know where to start. So I'm all here for it to help teach, guide, educate, to open yourself up for self-pleasure, to experience more pleasure. Plus on top of that, through the use of body safer pleasure toys. Because I believe this brings the right playfulness into it. it can widen your pleasure experience and your potential. It can also help you to connect with yourself on a much, much deeper level. 
because there are so many different pleasure toys out there. But before we're going to get into that, what is pleasure? Why am I calling it pleasure toys? Because you might be wondering, why is she not just saying sex toys? I believe there's a difference between the sex toys and the pleasure toys. Because sex toys kind of is very sexual. Which could be similar to like the difference between masturbation and self-pleasure. I like to use self-pleasure. Because masturbation for me personally is very sexual focused. Could be orgasm orientated. It is the stim stimulation of the genitals where self-pleasure could be I am just touching myself um, all over my body, over my skin and I have got this skin full body orgasmic bliss or deep breathing or through other sensations that I can give myself full body orgasm or have this orgasmic bliss, that beautiful delicious pleasure through self. But it doesn't necessarily mean I stimulate my genitals it can also th mean that, like self-pleasure is also including that, but it doesn't have to be the equal of it. And the same I see with sex toys and pleasure toys. Pleasure toys are there to bring pleasure. And that doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be an orgasm, a clitoral orgasm or ejaculation. It doesn't necessarily need to be stimulation of the genitals. There are other toys out there, for example, kinky pleasure toys that bring that different sensation, the ropes, or you've got something for impact play, you've got palms and you've got clams, but you also got like vibrators and other stimulation toys that you can use on other body parts and don't necessarily mean you're gonna have to use them on your genitals for orgasm. You can bring yourself pleasure through the use of body safer pleasure toys that are not necessarily related to sex. So this is where my difference is between why am I choosing self-pleasure, why am I using pleasure toys. And as you can hear in the end, it's all bringing pleasure. That's the goal of it. Pleasure. And pleasure is not equal to orgasm. So pleasure is basically, could be anything. There's aesthetic pleasure. If you look at something, you're like, Oh my God, this looks so beautiful. And it just brings you pleasure looking at it. It could be the physical pleasure, that sensation that you get through using your sensations, through touch, through different fabrics and different kind of techniques of using it. Could be the sexual pleasure. Could also be a social pleasure through being with someone else and having that good company and filling up your social cup that brings you pleasure with being someone and having a good laugh, having a good time. There are so many different kinds of pleasures out there. And I truly believe if you open yourself up to one form of pleasure, this can filter through to all the other pleasures. Meaning, if you are opening up yourself to more pleasure, for example, outside the bedroom, through like sensual eating, you really eating your food and you're like, mm, this brings me so much pleasure and you're like, ah, oh, really deliciously enjoying it. You are in that moment. It brings you, oh, I'm getting goosebumps here right now just talking about it and just imagining like, oh, I'm gonna eat something really yummy and delicious and I'm gonna enjoy it fully. It brings me pleasure. The more you're gonna do that, the more you practice that, the more you are just becoming in a state of being pleasure. And the more you are being in the state of pleasure, the more pleasure you're going to attract. It keeps that ball rolling and rolling and rolling. And the more pleasure you're going to also experience inside the bedroom, the more full body orgasmic bliss you can experience. Heartgasm, skingasm, there is so much beautiful out there. So what I want to say here is thank you so much for everyone who has voted. Thank you so much for everybody who's supporting my mission in one way or another. If that is through your following, if that is through commenting, liking, sharing my content, messages that I receive where I can hear that you are sharing your story of how, what kind of positive impact my content, my journey and my teachings have for you makes my absolute day. Brings me so much joy and pleasure. So thank you so much for 
or your support if you are signing up to my adult fans pages that is supporting my work as well if you are using my codes and links if you're getting yourself something new for more pleasure that helps me too if you are enrolling into my pleasure and toy school into my online courses work with me closely sharing my podcast downloading my podcast providing me reviews all of that is supporting my mission which i am so super grateful for and i appreciate you so so much and when you are ready to unlock your deepest love and pleasure potential for an orgasmic life to be and live pleasure lit then you can also join my pleasure and toy school that is a school that is online i have created that school for you and it's all about pleasure and pleasure toys so you can learn how to love yourself on a much much deeper level how to connect with your body on a much much deeper level show yourself more self-love self-care self-pleasuring because we are talking about this beautiful delicious practice self-pleasure how can you bring yourself more pleasure through yourself because ultimately it all starts with you and your self-love is the foundation of your happiest most successful and most pleasurable life within the pleasure and toy school you get access to various online courses such as self-pleasure online course my tantra online course to teach you the basics of tantra but also practices for males, for females, to really deepen your self-love and pleasure experience, to harness that sexual energy for full body orgasmic bliss. And then obviously also pleasure toys, because there's so many pleasure toys out there and available these days. What do you need to consider when you are getting your pleasure toy? What kind of materials body safer? What kind of loops do you use? With which material? How do you clean them, store them, travel with them, dispose of them? There is so, so much. So I provide you education around the basics, but also going specifically into certain toys that goes above my reviews, where I'm sharing my honest and personal reviews with you. I'm showing you there and teaching you more the how to. So how can you use um, pussy palms or nipple clams how are you going to use this certain toy why would you use this certain toy so as you can hear there's so much delicious value within the school and it is a monthly membership so you can join at any stage of your life from anywhere wherever you are if you're just curious about pleasure or pleasure toys if you're already playing but you want to deepen or widen your self-loving pleasure potential this school is for you and you can stay as long as you please or cancel at any time you also get access to the community and you can ask me directly all your pleasure and pleasure toy questions because my mission is to help normalize self-pleasure and the use of body safer pleasure toys because you deserve to feel your deepest self love and pleasure so thank you so much to everybody who's supporting it and i can't wait to help guide teach and support more of you on your self love and pleasure journey for full body orgasmic bliss so you can be and live pleasure lit with love and pleasure Mwah! Thank you so much for tuning into this podcast episode. Please leave this podcast a review. Make sure you follow and subscribe to my podcast and you share it along so we can spread the word and help others on their self-love and pleasure journey. With love and pleasure. Mwah!